Hello, welcome to the rundown of the Authentic Air 2.0 app. This is a first time sign in and kind of what you'll be seeing on a day to day basis while logging in and out of shifts of your clients through Authentic Air. So let's open this up. So you have your worker ID category here and your password. Your worker ID is going to be a six digit code that you should get from your agency. Your six digit code is yours and yours alone. And um, once you have your six digit code, you're going to type in this password P A S S W O R D. I'm going to do the little pound sign or number sign and the number one. I'll show that to you there so you can see that right there. So once you have that, you sign in. The thing is now going to prompt you to change your password. So now you can create a password that's just yours. So our current password, of course, is our password one P A S S W O R D. Uh, number sign or hashtag uh, one and then um, so now you create your own password here uh, I'm gonna do tester one just because this is a test but you're gonna wanna create your own personal password has to have at least one number at least one uppercase letter at least one lowercase letter and one special character so like I said I'm gonna do tester with a capital T with the number sign and one and then of course you have to confirm it everything has to be confirmed nowadays right all right so we're gonna see that tester one so whatever yours is then you submit it so once you're once you submit it you're gonna get the password success if you followed all of the promptings you know one one letter or one number one uppercase one lowercase letter those types of things now you're gonna go back to the opening screen. This is where you're going to type in your worker ID once again and your new password. So now I'm going to use tester1. Okay. Sign in. All right. Now it's it, this is if you have that face recognition. It's going to ask you if you want to turn this on. It's up to you. So this is going to be your opening screen if you have any appointments see we have it looks like we had four completed today but say I'm going to my fifth and we're gonna do a new check-in now if you have clients in the schedule some of you have chosen to have a schedule or not have a schedule in the in the authentic care system if you do not have a schedule this is what you're gonna find but if you do you're gonna see their names here and you'll be able to select them right now we don't have any so I'm gonna look up the client I'm looking for and my client's name happens to be, you guessed it, Mr. Test. So I'm going to look up for Mr. Test. Look him up, see if he's there. I know he lives on MLK. There he is, Mr. Test. So I'm going to select Mr. Test to get started with him. Now, Mr. Test has his address, his phone number there. I can call him from the app uh, right at this screen. Now, I've got to select a service. So this is where it gets a little dicey, but hang in there. So here we have all the services we can select from. As you can see, there are a few in here. Now, most of you are just going to be paying attention to this one right here called personal care services. So once you have what program they're under, which you'll also get from the agency, those are the ones you're going to select. So if they have those four hours of chore services, you're going to select that one. If they're personal care services, you're going to select that one. So you move on. And also, if you're in the schedule, it will automatically choose it for you because we will have in the schedule which program that time falls under at that time. So we're going to submit our check-in now. So now I'm checking in. You're going to see that it timestamped my location. So I have a check-in time of 534 and my location here with all these fun digits, right? it's not tracking me where I'm going now where I'm going in 15 minutes it tracked me when I logged in and it will do the same when I log out so we're done there so now I put the phone down I'm doing my shift I'm going and I'm helping Mr. Test we're getting a bath we're gonna get him dressed and get him nice and looking good for the day uh, maybe do some meal prep, right? That's always important. And of course, light housekeeping. Who's going to let us leave without cleaning their house, right? So we're going to select activities now. So we're going to do bathing, dressing, grooming. We did some light housekeeping and meal prep. 
And that's those are the activities we did for him at the end of the day. So, so after I went, finished the shift, got my phone, logged in my activities, and now I have another option I have to check. It's called observations. Now this is just another scrolling list of things that could happen during our shifts. Just little observations. We're not making, we're not diagnosing anybody. We're just making observations about our client. Um, nine times out of ten, we really don't have any observations to report. Things run pretty smoothly, so we hit observations. Uh, no observations to report. We're done there. Now I'm going to uh, continue to a client attestation. Now this part is is the end here. I'll go over skip attestation in just a minute. So we're going to continue. Now this part saying alert, check out has been recorded but not completed. So you're not done yet. So you have to continue. And this is where you hand the phone to the client. Now the client needs to confirm their services through personal care service. They need to confirm the time you were there and the activities you completed. So they will check those boxes. Once you do this, you must hit continue again. Now, once you get to the signature pad, they can make their mark. They can make their signature. Mr. Test happens to make signatures uh, very sloppily. So that's Mr. Test, and he's done. And now it says, thank you. Your attestation has, checkout has been recorded. You're still not done. There has to be a one more continue, and that's that one. Now you're done. So once you see this location, checkout time, now you're done. Now it's 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 said, all right, this person has completed the process completely. So we'll hit done there. And now we can see here at our bottom we have one more check-in, checkout time that's been completed. And and that is that. So I will be going into a few other things in uh, the follow-up video. Uh, but for now, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please reach out to us and we will get you going.